So I'm going to be demonstrating the helicopter. So when um, doing this, teaching this posture, at this point your students should be um, fairly strong um, in their shoulders as well as their upper back and they're going to be using their core as well in this. Um, so we're going to teach from the ground first. You're going to think of tucking and then splitting the legs and then tucking and down. Um, so that's the safest way to teach. Also, um, ideally, I would have a three inch mat. Um, that would go around the pole and um, even your students could wear knee pads if they were worried. Um, so we're going to start, I'm going to start by teaching on the floor to get their leg position right. So they're going to have um, their body, like the pole at, at mid body. They're going to be in a baseball grip and you want them to do with any movement, they're going to do both sides. But we're going to start with their, their best side. Um, so it's mid body, baseball grip one hand down, the other hand on top, um, and then they're going to tuck their knees, think of lifting their hips and legs out, then tucking back down like that. So they're going to tuck the knees up, hips up, separating the legs, splitting them, and then back down. Okay? So once they're comfortable with that, um, ideally, again, when they're starting out, you want to spot every student. You want to make sure that they all have a crash mat. Um, so they're going to have their arm at eye level, other arm slightly on top, and they're going to tuck their knees so that they can engage their stomach correctly. When they get more advanced, um, then they can have straight legs as they get better, um, but that's for more advanced students. So you don't want them to kick into it. You want them to, they can do a little bit of a hop if they need to. So they're going to tuck in, separate the legs, tuck out, and down. And that's so that they don't hurt their lower back. Because if they do the straight legs and come down, if they're not strong enough, they could potentially hurt their lower back. They can also, um, uh, this can be taxing on the rhomboids, on their, uh, like their, the back part of their shoulders. So um, if you see them doing this a lot, then it's you know it's time for them to take a break. So anyway, that's the helicopter.